reading subscribers! I don't enjoy the 1986 movie The Karate Kid 2 nearly as much as I enjoy the original film. But since the original is probably my number one favorite movie of all time, that's hardly much criticism. I've always said that these movies are filled with brilliant ideas which 99% of all viewers miss. And today, I'd simply like to share one from The Karate Kid 2. At the beginning, Daniel and Miyagi arrive in an airport in Okinawa. They see a poster of Sato chopping a log in half. Daniel asks Miyagi if he could do that, and Miyagi replies, Don't know. Never been attacked by tree. Implying that, to Miyagi, karate is about something different than showing off in the spotlight. Then in the middle of the movie, we see Sato on his private property trying to break a log, and we learn that in reality he's unable to. Therefore, we learn that for the poster we saw earlier in the movie, Sato is only doing an illusion for camera. Finally, towards the end of the movie, an unexpected typhoon rapidly hits Tomi Village. A house Sato was in falls apart, and Sato is helplessly pinned under a giant log. Daniel and Miyagi attempt to lift the log to save him, but can't. And then, for the first time in his life, Miyagi attempts to break a log in half and succeeds, and saves Sato's life. Okay? So my interpretation of the story is, it shows you the contrast of what karate meant to Sato and what it meant to Miyagi. For Sato, it was largely about scaring people, making them feel intimidated, being the boss, etc. But for Miyagi, karate is only about defense, and that includes defending and saving the lives of other people. So that's just one story I like in a Karate Kid movie, which I think most people miss. But as always, I'd like to hear some feedback from you viewers. Did you find the story to be interesting? Why or why not? Did you already notice it when seeing the movie? Or did you notice another little sub-story like this in one of the films? Please leave it all in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of my videos, then please feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. I would love to have you. Thank you.